What's up guys, it's me your boy Steve Ryan here, and in today's video I'm doing something that I've never done before, but I kind of got this idea off Joy Amen. He does sort of videos about special notes in a fragrance, so like for example the top 5 best iris fragrances. Um, well today I'm doing the top, or not really top 3, but like 3 good solid apple fragrances. I'm critically just judging the apple and not really anything else so let's start off with this one this one isn't one of my favorites but if we count the apple it is one of my favorites for the apple but overall as a fragrance it's not my favorite this one is nautica voyage this one is a green floral with apple in the beginning the apple first of all kicks in it smells very green and refreshing um so let me just spray it just to get a refresher yeah so straight off the bat i get a nice like cucumberish apple kind of vibe you can very very much smell the apple which i like and this is the point of this video is three solid apple fragrances so if you're looking for a fragrance that has apple in it these are our solid ones so starting with nautica voyage the apple is very nice in the beginning but then it goes into a more of a sort of flowery kind of floral you know doesn't the apple doesn't stay for long that's the only problem with this one and overall performance is very well i pretty much use it as like a refreshener kind of um it's very it smells very nice on the sheets overall on the clothes it's very good as well that's nautica voyage this is my number two this is boss bottled intense or the parfum this one is more of a cinnamony sort of apple it's like an apple pie but with cinnamon it overall smells very nice and sweet and and a little bit of the spicy kind of vibe if you think about it, it has a lot more cinnamon but i get a little bit of a refreshing vibe from this so i believe it it is the apple because the apple is kind of getting overtaken by the cinnamon but i still it still smells very refreshing and very sort of classical like just overall a solid fragrance if i had to use the word solid it's this fragrance right here. Just overall very compact. The apple's nice. The uh, cinnamon's sort of not over the top. It's nice and smooth. And overall the fragrance is a little bit sweet. So with Boss Bottle, I get more of a cinnamon, but I also get the apple. And it lasts on, the EDP lasts on me for about seven hours. The Eau de Toilette I've tried and it's lasted me much less. So if you're gonna get one, I would suggest getting the Boss Bottle Intense Eau de Parfum version. That's Boss Bottled Intense EDP. My number three and probably my favorite one out of these three, this one is Parfums de Marley Layton. It smells so nice when it's when it first is opening up. You get the apple, you get a little bit of some lavender. It sort of smells um, very fresh and kind of aromatic, but at the same time sweet and lavendery. So it's a very overall complex fragrance and I really enjoy this fragrance. It is one of my favorite niches so far that I own. Parfums de Marley Layton, you can definitely tell the apple in the beginning and it's a nice sweet apple and it probably is my favorite note or sort of my favorite opening as a niche fragrance. Parfums de Marley Layton is a gorgeous fragrance and I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it out. Try it, give it, give it a try first. And if you do like it, then you can thank me and you can buy a bottle if you want to. But that's Parfums de Marley Layton. This one, what's special about this one, I get maybe close to like 12 hours of longevity. So for a, a spicy apple um, aromatic fragrance, it does last on for a long time. So this is Parfums de Marie Layton. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace.